Did you know that right now an object is speeding through our solar system that scientists admit is behaving impossibly? Far beyond the edge of our moon's pale glow, something extraordinary is unfolding. Something that has scientists questioning everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. The interstellar traveller known as 3i, divided by Atlas, is defying expectations. Once again, its movement, its glow, even its internal energy, none of it fits the model. What began as a faint green dot in the sky may in fact be something far greater. A kind of interstellar powerhouse carrying energy and secrets older than our sun itself. NASA's instruments are capturing data they can't explain. And tonight, we'll explore what they found and why it's rewriting what we know about the universe. Before we dive into this cosmic mystery, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me your country in the comments. I'd love to know where in the world you're watching from. Because what we're witnessing right now, this moment, belongs to all of us. Humanity has always looked up at the stars with wonder. But tonight, we're staring at something that might be looking right back. When 3i divided by Atlas was first spotted, astronomers were stunned. Its speed alone, nearly 60 kilometers per second, told us it couldn't have originated in our solar system. It was an interstellar visitor, a messenger from the deep void between the stars. But there was something more. Unlike most comets, 3i divided by Atlas shone with an eerie emerald hue. The initial analysis suggested simple chemistry. Carbon, nitrogen, maybe diatomic carbon reacting with sunlight. But as instruments refined their readings, the picture changed. The glow wasn't steady. It fluctuated, pulsing rhythmically like the heartbeat of a living organism. NASA, Harvard, and the European Space Agency all scrambled to observe it. And what they saw next raised more questions than answers. 3i divided by Atlas wasn't just reflecting sunlight. It appeared to be amplifying it, releasing bursts of radiation far beyond what its mass should allow. The object was emitting energy in the infrared spectrum, as though something inside was generating power. Some called it a coincidence, others quietly called it impossible. When we look at comets, we expect cold, passive rocks and ice reacting to the sun's warmth. But this, this was something different. It was as though 3i divided by Atlas had its own internal engine responding to light instead of merely enduring it. As it passed through the solar wind, instead of slowing down like most comets, it began to accelerate. The sun's radiation pressure should have pushed it off course. Yet somehow it seemed to control its own trajectory. Scientists couldn't agree on how. Some proposed a natural phenomenon like cryovolcanic jets, bursts of vaporized gases from beneath its crust. Others whispered about electromagnetic propulsion. But neither theory fully explains the energy output or the precise acceleration. It's one thing for a gas jet to push an object, but it's another thing entirely for it to accelerate against the solar wind with such control. And then came the data that silenced everyone. The James Webb Space Telescope detected heat patterns across its surface, structured, symmetrical, geometric. Nature loves chaos, but these shapes were anything but random. They pulsed in harmony as if energy was being distributed across its body through invisible channels. Think about that. We aren't just seeing a hotspot. We are seeing a grid, a network of energy. This strongly implies an artificial internal structure designed for thermal regulation or power distribution. NASA's instruments recorded faint but repeating electromagnetic signals buried in the noise of the solar wind, a pattern that didn't match any known natural object. It shouldn't be possible. Yet, every reading confirmed the same thing. 3i divided by Atlas was not behaving like a comet. It was acting like a machine. Imagine for a moment that you're standing outside on a cold winter night. You look up and see a distant green light crossing the stars. You think it's just a comet, but as you watch, you realize it's doing something more, adjusting its brightness changing its spin, almost as if it's aware. That's what astronomers around the world are feeling right now. Or 
mixed with unease. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Maria Lopez described it perfectly. It's as if three eye divided by Atlas isn't visiting us, she said. It's observing us. That might sound like science fiction, but even the skeptics admit something unprecedented is happening. The chemical composition of its emissions suggests a blend of molecules we've never seen coexisting in space. Metallic hydrogen traces, exotic isotopes, and even carbon chains too long to form naturally under interstellar conditions. Let's break that down. Metallic hydrogen is a state of matter thought to exist only in the cores of gas giants like Jupiter. To find it on a comet-sized object is baffling, and long-chain carbon molecules are the building blocks of complex organic life, but they're incredibly fragile and shouldn't survive the harsh radiation of deep space. That means this object either formed in an environment, unlike any we know, or it was built. If that last possibility makes your heart race a little faster, you're not alone. The idea that we might be seeing not just a rock, but a remnant, a relic of an ancient civilization is hard to comprehend. But so is the scale of what's unfolding before us. NASA's Parker Solar Probe recently flew through a wave of solar plasma in the same region where 3i divided by Atlas is passing. It detected magnetic field distortion signatures consistent with a powerful magnetic bubble. This bubble, according to early analysis, wasn't random. It surrounded the path of 3i divided by Atlas, almost like a shield. Nothing like that has ever been recorded from a natural object. Could this powerhouse be creating its own protective field? The implications are staggering. If an object can generate electromagnetic fields in deep space, that would mean it's manipulating energy, perhaps even harnessing the solar wind itself. Some physicists have begun calling it the cosmic dynamo. But what kind of force could sustain that? Where does the energy come from? That's where things get even more mysterious. Spectroscopic data from the James Webb Telescope show a strange infrared absorption line, a dip in the spectrum that doesn't match any known element. It's as if... 3i divided by Atlas is absorbing radiation in a very precise, deliberate way, like it's collecting power. This isn't just absorption, like a black rock heating up. This is a specific frequency being filtered out of the light spectrum. It's targeted, it's what you would expect from a technology designed to drink a specific kind of solar energy. Imagine a battery the size of a mountain floating through the galaxy for millions of years, storing and releasing energy from starlight. Now, imagine it's not alone. Some astronomers believe 3i divided by Atlas could be part of a larger pattern, a family of interstellar travelers we've only begun to detect. Oumuamua, Borisov, and now Atlas. Three separate objects, all on hyperbolic orbits, all exhibiting unexplainable behavior. Is it coincidence or is it a trail? Breadcrumbs left across the galaxy by forces we can barely comprehend. Many of you watching might remember a time when we first sent our own emissaries into space. The voyagers, the pioneers, small, fragile crafts carrying golden records and human greetings into the dark. Perhaps long ago, another civilization did the same sending their technology into the void, drifting between stars, waiting to be found. But maybe this isn't a relic. Maybe it's active, a living artifact of physics itself, an autonomous energy system that uses electromagnetic fields and radiation to sustain itself across infinite time. The thought is staggering. A machine that doesn't decay, doesn't die, but simply drifts through eternity, powered by the universe itself. And as poetic as that sounds, it could also be terrifying. Because if 3i divided by Atlas is active, it might be recording. Some scientists have speculated that the electromagnetic pulses surrounding it could be a form of communication, not meant for us, but for others like it. Imagine if these objects communicate across interstellar distances using the natural hum of space as their medium. A silent conversation unfolding across light years and we've only just stumbled upon one voice in the chorus. Now, before we drift too deep into the unknown, let's come back to what's real, what we can measure. NASA's data 
shows that as 3i divided by Atlas approaches perihelion, its closest point to the sun, its energy output is expected to increase exponentially. That means in the coming weeks, it could grow bright enough to be visible from Earth with amateur telescopes. But the real event might happen after it passes the Sunday. If the radiation pressure intensifies, we could witness something spectacular, a sudden acceleration or perhaps even a change in trajectory. If that happens, it will mean one thing. 3i divided by Atlas isn't just reacting to sunlight, it's using it. For those of you who lived through the golden age of space, when humanity first touched the moon, when Voyager crossed the threshold into interstellar space, this moment feels familiar. Back then, we looked outward and realized the universe wasn't just beautiful, it was alive with potential. Today, as we watch 3i divided by Atlas, we might be standing on the edge of another revelation. One that reminds us that intelligence, energy, and design might be far more common out there than we've dared to believe. But even if it's not artificial, even if 3i divided by Atlas is a purely natural object, it's still teaching us something profound. It's showing us how little we truly understand about the fabric of reality. It's revealing that interstellar matter can behave in ways our models can't predict. It's forcing us to confront the idea that the universe itself might be filled with phenomena that mimic life, self-organizing, self-sustaining systems that blur the line between biology and physics. And that perhaps is the real power of three I divided by Atlas. It's not just an object, it's a mirror. A mirror reflecting our curiosity, our fear, our endless hunger to understand where we come from and what's waiting beyond the stars. The story of 3i divided by Atlas is far from over. Over the coming months, as it continues its journey out of the solar system, we'll keep learning more. NASA's Deep Space Network will track its fading signal. The James Webb and the European Space Observatory will continue monitoring its spectral shifts each bit of data will bring us closer to the truth and perhaps closer to something bigger than truth, meaning. So, what do you think? Is 3i divided by Atlas a natural traveler or an interstellar powerhouse built by forces beyond our understanding? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to tell me where you're watching from. If you felt that spark of wonder tonight, if you felt your imagination lift toward the stars, then like this video and share it with someone who still believes that discovery is the greatest adventure of all. Because someday soon, we may learn that the universe isn't a silent void. It's a symphony. And 3i divided by Atlas, glowing green and mysterious, might just be one of its instruments playing a note across the cosmos, waiting for someone, somewhere to finally listen. Here is the valuable lesson from all this. The universe will always be bigger than our assumptions. We build models and write laws of physics, but the cosmos is under no obligation to follow them. This object reminds us to stay curious, to question everything, and to humbly accept that we are just beginning to understand the true nature of reality. What do you think is the most convincing piece of evidence that 3i divided by Atlas is artificial? Or do you think there's a natural explanation we just haven't found yet? Drop your theories in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the mysteries of our universe.